And now in business, Nigerians have been urged to show patriotism in whatever they do in order to get the country going on, uh, going on rather, in terms of productivity and put away all tendencies to cheat. Founder and president of the National Association of Government-Approved Freight uh, Forwarders, Nagaf, Boniface and Niebonam, stated this in an interview with PLOS TV African News. Uh, of course, uh, Lovi Kukoyedokun has more in this report. Nigeria is considered one of the most challenging countries to do business due to systemic corruption. The country is said to lose up to $1.95 billion in government revenue and $8.15 billion from the private sector annually due to corruption at the Nigerian ports. These losses no doubt constrict government programs and the capacity to develop and improve much-needed public infrastructure. President of the National Association of Government approved Fred Forwarders, Nagaf, Boniface and Ibunam holds strongly that corruption is a fallout of non-compliance attitude or infractions on the part of government agents. The issue of bribery, the giver and the taker are culpable and we will never solve the problem because nobody is being held responsible. That's a problem. So we should start thinking, what do we do? How do we get somebody held responsible? If we do that, it will add a lot of value in fighting corruption. So the non-compliance attitude or infraction, as it were, is still a very big problem. The Nagaf president said emphasis should be placed on production. Revenue is important. Government needs the money. But what should we be looking at is issue of production. That is how we can jumpstart the economy. The more we have on revenue, the more the country is going down, the more we are poorer. He spoke on port congestion, which he attributed to a lot of factors, including more goods coming into the port at numbering the ones living. Trade policies of the government, inconsistency, you know, people not being genuine in their uh, declarations for custom purpose. They drive for revenue. Sometimes people cannot even pay what they were asked to pay. And so most time we uh, do not provide opportunity for planning. If you p plan it, it's going to fail. Maybe at the time you goes inside. So many things. Anir Bunan renewed his call for a presidential order in terms of declaration of emergency at the port level. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedoku. Reporting for Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.